This is a story about Ben Boyd, as it's told in the book A Time to Remember, which was put out by Peter Luck in 1988, and it's titled Ben Boyd, Mystery Man. Benjamin Boyd was a Scottish trader and stockbroker who breezed into Sydney in his splendid yacht called the Wanderer in June 1842, and he hoped to create an Australian town that might have become a city. Crowds swarmed to Sydney Cove to see the Wanderer, which was the largest, most elegant yacht ever seen in Australia. It was fitted with 13 guns to ward off pirates and carried a paid crew and a princely retinue of relatives, friends and employees, including his personal artist Oswald Brierley. Boyd had 200,000 borrowed English pounds in his kitty when he arrived and became one of the largest and most powerful squatters in South East New South Wales. He built a number of commercial buildings and a fine mansion on Sydney Harbour called Craig Nathan, the foundations of which lie under the Customs Department workshops in Neutral Bay. But the entrepreneur's most ambitious and grandiose plan was to create a city on the coast at Twofold Bay, about halfway between Sydney and Melbourne. He set about building Boyd Town, a remarkable collection of mock Tudor buildings, some of which still remain. It eventually possessed a lighthouse, a jetty 90 metres long, an imitation Gothic church, solid houses of brick, and Elizabeth-style inn. From this port, Boyd embarked on whaling and trading adventures. Ben Boyd imported cheap labour from the Pacific Islands, but his enterprises failed, and after losing heavily, he sailed into the Wanderer to California, where he prospected for gold, without success. While on a journey among the Solomon Islands in 1851, Boyd disappeared, and the manner of his death remains a mystery. Perhaps some old scores were being settled by the islanders Boyd had previously exploited.